and it's Rose, and I'm here today with a big unboxing. I have an order from GBFKE, and I'm going to unbox all five of them all at once. So this is going to be a long video, but you get to see five, what I hope are going to be gorgeous diamond paintings. So, let's start. Okie dokie. In here and so as uh, some of you know I have uh, been approached by GBFKE to do some uh, unboxings for them so they send me diamond paintings I choose them they send them and I don't pay for them but I give you an honest review what this one is and I was pretty excited about getting this one so I got to tell you getting this package was a bit of a surprise because I had sent GBFKE a list of I think 15 diamond paintings that I would be interested in ordering from like that I would be interested in reviewing uh, for them and uh, I said, you know, just pick the ones that you want to send me. You know, like I put a variety of big ones and small ones. And I said, just send the ones that you, that you would like me to review. I mean, I was happy doing any of them. And so I got the, I think the first order or maybe two orders. And I was happy about that. And then I, and I thought, okay, so they're going to send me five or whatever. Well, they ended up sending all of them. And so this package I had not been really expecting. And so I was, was super excited. It doesn't happen often that I get a package in the mail that I was not expecting. So when it does, oh, it's like Christmas. All right. So this one I call uh, Chinese Dragons on Waves. And um, I bought another Chinese Dragon diamond painting not too long ago. And I just loved it and so did you guys um, and so when I saw this one I thought yeah I'm gonna get it too because there's just something about these Chinese dragons that makes me happy to look at and they're so colorful and so bright and this is a nice big size for for the um, the image so I'm hoping that that's gonna look really really good okay so this is number 437 in my inventory and here is the kit for uh, this diamond painting so just a few little bags but I'm always happy to get bags and a single placer pen a green boat and a little piece of wax and that's more than enough for uh, what we will need to complete this diamond painting and I'm going to bring you down a little bit closer so that you can see more close up what uh, what this looks like. And I'll bring you down even further when we look at the um, legend and the drill field. Uh, so let's just measure it. This is advertised as 60 by 40. I'm pretty sure that's the canvas size, which is fine. As long as we know that, then uh, we know that we'll need to, you know, add a mat or something if we want to use a standard size frame. So this is 53 and just over 53 centimeters across. So we're going to call that 53. And 34, 53 by 34. So let me just update that on my inter inventory. So that's a good size. That's over 1,500 square centimeters. So this would count as one of my large diamond paintings. I've got the uh, coin for this already in the bowl. So when the coin comes up, I will drill this diamond painting. Okay, and look, just check out these colors. Isn't that awesome? That's beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna bring you down so that you can see the legend so that I can see what you can see and I'll blow you up a bit 
There we go. Okay, so uh, this legend is huge. I mean, take a look at the size of my finger and the size of that legend. So you won't have any trouble if you have, you know, visual acuity problems. This is going to be super easy to read, and then it'll be easy to easier to translate that to uh, the canvas if you're having trouble reading on the canvas. But look, even the canvas is super clear, and I haven't even zoomed further in on it. So uh, we've got letters, symbols, a bracket, star. This looks very, very clear. I don't see anything here at all that I would find hard to read. And we've got 25 colors, which is good. It's always nice to get uh, more than 20 colors with a diamond painting. I know there's many of you out there that think that you need more than that. I am not necessarily of that world view that you need more than uh, 20 colors to get um, a good image, depending on what that image is. Sometimes, oh yes, you do. But I think with something like this, it's going to look really nice because it's stylized to begin with, like the whole image. Well, we'll zoom out in a little while, but let's take a look at the drill area so that that can help you decide whether you would want to work on this diamond painting. So here's the first thing that I love about it. The symbols are super clear on the canvas. Yay. The other thing that I love is there are no guide circles. So if you don't place your diamonds perfectly, perfectly straight, or if the diamonds are maybe just a little tiny, tiny bit too small, which let's hope they're not, we're going to check that in a minute, uh, you don't have those ugly black circles showing behind your drills. So uh, yeah, that now black circles, they're pretty much a killer for me. I um, I'm not sure if I'm going to work on any more diamond paintings that have black circles on them because they're just not pleasant for me to to see. Okay, I'm going to uh, take you out of the cradle and we're gonna zoom in and out a little bit on this diamond painting so that you can see um, more of the detail. And look at this. Look at those faces on the dragons. Oh, they're so great. They're so great. I just love the stylized look of it. And as we step back, and for that I'm going to zoom way out, like this is going to look really nice if, if, I mean, if I wanted to frame it, I think this would look fantastic. Yeah, it's just those brilliant colors. And I bet you the gold is going to be spectacular. And I am not worried at all about pixelation. Even just with my eyes, I'm not finding this too pixelated at all. And even just sitting, I guess my eyes are about, I'd say about three feet away from it right now. And I'm not looking through the camera. And I can see the detail in it. So... So that's good. Sometimes I would be a little concerned, but this is actually quite nice. And again, because it's so stylized, that helps to make your eye um, smooth over any uh, of the pixelation that there might be. There's always going to be pixelation in a diamond painting. It doesn't matter what the size of it is. Uh, it's just that the bigger the diamond painting, the less that pixelation will be. So now, let's take a look at these drills. And so they are ribbon packaging, which is good. And what we're looking for here, well first we'll make sure that we have all the colors. And then what we're looking for is the quality of the drills. And oh my goodness, these colors are to die for. Wow. All right, let's just do a quick count. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 
and there's two more big bags of 20, and then 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Okay, so let's now take a look at the quality of these, and for that, I am going to blow you way, way up. All right. So let's start with number one. And I'm not going to, you know, count them or anything like that in terms of counting what number we're at. I'm just going to uh, take a moment to show you the bottoms of the drills. What I'm looking for is completely flat bottoms with no little bits of um, excess resin around the outside. That's called um, flash. I call it melty feet. It's the little ooze from around the molds. Um, I am okay with these dimples that I see in the bottom of some of these. That is not a concave drill. Now a concave drill, hold on, I think I see one that might be, no, I don't see any concave drills actually. So a concave drill is one where only the edge, the very edge of the diamond would touch the canvas. And I am seeing here a bit of trash. Um, Trying to find where my finger is. Oh man. All right, I can't. Anyway, I'm not sure if you can see it, but I saw one piece of trash in there. I'm trying to put it in the center of the screen. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Um, but I haven't seen any bad drills, as it were. So yeah, this is uh, this is looking good. This is looking good. I'm charging my phone while I shoot, so I've got it oriented uh, opposite to what I usually do. So I don't know about you, but I sometimes it takes me a while to get used to where the camera is. Now, something else that I like to look at is the top of the drills. And on these beautiful drills here, you can see that the top is absolutely sharply cut on these. And so they are gonna sparkle like mad. That's great, because that's what we want when we get round diamond paintings. We want nice, sharply cut tops so that there's great sparkle, and we want as flat as possible bottoms, and hopefully not a lot of trash. And I don't see a lot of trash, and I don't see drills that... See, there's a little piece of trash, but that's not a bad drill. That's just a little piece of trash. Um, I don't see any difference in sizes for these drills, so it looks like... They're really good. Wow, look at this beautiful red. That's just gorgeous. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Yeah. Yes. So that's wonderful. Okay. Almost done the first strip. Oh, look at that orange. That is incredible. <gasps> love that. I love the bright colors on this diamond painting. It is just so beautiful. Okay, so see, there in the center we have a drill that has what, what's called flash around it. Flash is the technical term for it. That's what I call melty feet. Um, you can't use that drill because it would uh, push the drills around it out of place and eventually they would start to pop off because there's not enough room if there's too many of those drills there's not enough room but that's the first one of those drills we've seen in this kit and that's not a problem because there is no such thing as perfection except maybe our kids uh, and even those I'd be, I'd be pretty sure nobody's kids are perfect as much as we like to say they are um, okay so there are a lot of these blues. This is the one that's got the three packages. And one of the other things that um, I need to point out to you is that there are no DMC numbers on the canvas legend or on the bags. So uh, whatever drills are left over, if you're the kind of person who keeps your drills, I am the kind of person who keeps you, uh, my drills, um, you won't be able to organize them by DMC number unless you actually um, sort and classify them using a DMC color chart. <coughs> Excuse me. 
which I will do someday because I am that particular. Um, but not everybody is. Anyway, uh, I know some of you did it. Like, I really like it when a diamond painting has the DMC uh, numbers written on uh, either the legend or the packages. Uh, it's just an extra nice little thing. And so uh, I would say that that is the only thing that I would want in, to see improved in something like this. Other than that, this diamond painting is going to be a pleasure to do. Um, it's like, I mean, it, it arrived in excellent condition. Uh, it's poured glue for those of you who prefer poured glue. And um, I think it's poured glue. It's good and sticky anyway. Um, I'm not sure if it's poured glue. It might be that other glue that is applied. Um, it's not double-sided tape, but it's it's similar to that. It's kind of in between poured glue and double-sided tape. I'm not sure which one this is, but um, it's either poured or it's that in-between thing. But uh, it's good and sticky. It's got the plastic cover for those of you who like working with plastic covers. What else can I say? Uh, I can tell you what the price is, except I don't have that handy. So I'm going to flash the price up on the screen. And uh, yeah, there you go. I hope that you consider this diamond painting. And go and check out the GVFKE website. Now, uh, I'm going to pause for a second. I'm going to get this off of my table. And we'll open the next diamond painting. painting and here we go what's this one? Oh, okay all right <laughs> so all right I know what this one is so you remember I I said I picked 15 diamond paintings uh, expecting that they would you know send me maybe five of them or something like that you know uh, I really like the Chinese dragons <laughs> so I ordered like I I, I selected three of the Chinese dragons. Now the first Chinese dragon came in my first order from GBFKE. I think it was the first order. And, um, or the, it was definitely the first shipment for this order. Um, and anyway, it was the, it was just a single Chinese dragon. And I didn't realize that they were going to send all three of them. Anyway, but that's good because I like Chinese dragons. So this one here, uh, it has some, a thinner, uh, canvas like the canvas on both of these feels good um, this one feels slightly more cloth like than the other Chinese dragon uh, but both of them are good now taking a look at the back they both arrived in pretty good condition I'm not concerned about these mail increases at all that's not going to affect the look of the diamond painting in any way if you're really fussy about that um, first I store these flat and uh, with other diamond paintings pressed up against them. And so uh, that will help to flatten out any of those male increases. But if you're really fussy about it, you can iron these on a very low heat, very low. And uh, just, I would stick to maybe just the edges and any key, you know, any areas where there's a lot of creasing on the image itself. I don't see any creasing that bothers me on the image itself. Most of that creasing that we see is caused by the plastic on the outside that doesn't move as freely when it's, you know, being, um, when it's being rolled up as the canvas itself. The canvas itself is, is more um, amenable, if you will, to uh, the the rolling of the canvas for the shipping process. So see, this is already better. Whoop. There we go. That's already better. It's very easy to work with these diamond paintings that are covered in plastic. Uh, I lo like when I'm drilling them. I like I prefer the ones that have paper on them because I just find the the plastic very slippery. But 
Um, they are very, very easy to work with and you can always see exactly through the can, like you can always see through the, the top. So um, so this one is also advertised as 60, 60 by 40. Let's measure it and see what it is. If it's like the other one, it'll be 53. Well, this one is actually 50, just over 53 and a half. So that one I'm gonna call 54 by 34. Okay. And let me just find a sticker for it. Okay, so this is uh, number 438. Chinese dragons number three, 54 by 34, and it's round. I think it's round. Yeah, it's round, Trace. Yes, it is. All right. There we go. So that I won't get it won't get lost in my inventory. I, I number them all, and that way it's easy for me to find a diamond painting when it gets picked to be worked on. Okay, so uh, let's talk about this canvas. So 25 colors. And uh, again, let's see. Uh, there are no DMC numbers on them. So that that's too bad, but it's okay. Um, if, if you keep your drills or if you, if it's important to you to sort your drills, then it's not, it just takes a little bit of time to match it up to the DMC color chart. Okay. Uh, the symbols on here, let me zoom in for you. The symbols on here are easy to read. I don't see anything that's confusing. No, I don't see anything that's confusing. Um, let's take a look at the canvas itself and the drill area to see how those symbols come together. It's very clear. The printing is nice and clear. There are no guide circles, which is very important to me. I don't like guide circles. But I know that some of you do, and so if you like, if you don't like guide circles, then this might be a diamond painting for you. And if you do like guide circles, maybe not. Um, but I'm just going to take a moment for people who um, who like guide circles because they help them to place their diamonds straight. What I've learned from working on many, many round drill diamond paintings is that generally speaking, as long as your drill covers the symbol fully, you will be making straight lines. And if you have a little diamond straightener or something like that, you can further straighten your lines by uh, using that. Some people also use uh, a diamond ruler so it's a ruler that's got cutouts of um, like of drills and you just put the drills down in the cutouts of the ruler and they fit perfectly like absolutely perfectly on the canvas I've got one of those rulers coming I've got one for square drills and one for round drills coming because I do want to be able to show that to you because if you're somebody who is you know worried that they won't be able to place their drills straight on a canvas that doesn't have guide circles I think those rulers would help you out and I mean there's nothing the matter with using with getting diamond paintings that have guide circles if you really like guide circles but if you see a diamond painting that you love like maybe this one and the only thing that concerns you about it is the fact that it doesn't have guide circles then I think that maybe one of those drill like diamond I think then I think that one of those diamond painting drill rulers might be just what you need to expand your horizon in terms of the diamond paintings that you're comfortable doing anyway I'll be bringing that video to you uh, in the coming weeks all right let's take a look at the drills so I love 
love, love the fact that they come weighed and uh, pre-bagged. So I will never have to kit this project up. It's pre-kitted. The only thing that I will be doing, and not everybody does this because some people work from the legend. I don't work from the legend. What I will do is I'll just add another sticker on here that, um, that I've drawn the legend on. So for 03, I'll, I'll put the greater than symbol. And, and then I never have to look at my legend again. That's just the way I like to work. So let's take a look at the drills. And they always put them in the bags so nicely. <laughs> and I'm never able to, uh, to replicate that when I'm putting them back. So uh, I'm going to bring you down because it's uh, awkward for me to see the... Um, to see what you see. So again, what we're looking for is nice flat bottoms and no flash and nice sharp cuts on the top because we want those facets to be super, super shiny. And you can see there, they're, they're shining and it's not a very sunny day, but still. All right. And uh, I'll count these up afterwards just to make sure that we've got all the colors but that's really the only thing you have to worry about when they weigh drills. I think I've only ever once had an experience with weighed drills where they uh, shorted me drills. And um, luckily I had lots of diamonds in my stash. So I was able to finish the diamond painting with leftovers from another kit. So these are looking good. Very, very good. Uh, they're flat, they don't have any flash. I love the colors. Now, you guys know that for me, I'm always drawn to the colors. And for the longest time, I was drawn to colors that were super, super bright, and I wanted tons and tons of bright, bright colors. And I found that lately, like especially in the last, I don't know, six months or so, I've been much more comfortable buying diamond paintings that have less, you know, super rich, dark colors and stuff like that. So, you know, I buy a lot that have either white or gray or pale backgrounds. I'm really not into pastel diamond paintings. And so one of the things that I like about this, and you can see it just in this little bit that's here, this is going to stand out like this the colors are super rich and again it's a stylized image but it is we're gonna look at the detail because I'm looking at some of the detail and it's like yeah I gotta I gotta point that out to them because um, if you were worried about the image quality and whether it was too pixelated I don't think this one's too pixelated and I'm gonna show you why in just a second yeah these drills look really good and I know some of you like to look at the drills in detail before you spend your hard-earned money on a diamond painting. And so that's why I always take the time to show you each bag of drills. Um, because that way you'll have a much better sense of what you'll get if you order the same thing. Oh, I love this. I know what this is. This is 3756. I love this color so much. Okay. And it's funny, I never used to love, love that color. Um, but uh, I've done a few diamond paintings where there were, was a lot of that color in them. And it is just such a fantastic color. <laughs> so <laughs> it's become one of my favorites, which I never would have anticipated. A few years ago, well, a couple of years ago when I started diamond painting, I was all about the 550s and the 666 and the 321s and so forth. So let's count. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Okay, and that's what we're supposed to have is 25. So I got all the drills I'm supposed to have, so that's good. Now I'm just going to, um, so I'm just taking you out of the holder again because I want you to see the detail on this thing. Look at, for example, the detail of the circle around the dragons. Look at the detail on the flowers. Again, this is stylized, so you don't expect it to be lifelike. But this is gorgeous. And these fronds here, like, take a look at that. Coming back even just a little ways. That is so nicely, um, well, the detail on it is just, it's beautiful. This is going to be gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm really, really happy with this. So beautiful. One. Okay. I forgot right. to show you the kit for this. So it comes with two bags, a little bit of wax, a green boat, and a single placer pink pen, which is all you need to complete the kit. All right. Let's see what's next, my friends. Let's see what's next. Oh, we'll do one of the smaller ones. Because I picked um, a variety of different sizes of diamond paintings. So, let's see what this is. Let me raise you up a little bit. Okay. There we go. Now this has just a slight little bit here. Whoever was uh, cutting it made a, just a little miscut, if you will. So we'll just take that off. Oh, okay. All right, I know what this, this one I call, well, before I show you, I'm gonna show you the kit so that I don't forget. Uh, and here again, we have, it looks like two bags, a little bit of wax, a green boat, and a pink pen. And now this is a special drills diamond painting because I wanted to get uh, one or two of those from GBFKE just to show you what they have available. This one I call Peacock Royale. And this is not doing it justice. So just think back to the title card that you just saw. And, um, and this is what it looks like before it's got drills on it. When I saw this on their website, I just thought, holy smokes, this is gonna be absolutely gorgeous when it's done. Uh, it doesn't look like much now, but just you wait. Now, the canvas is quite thick and stiff. So I'm going to take just a minute now um, to sort of iron it with no heat by using my bone folder. It doesn't always help too much, but every little bit of, you know, flattening these things helps. I'll be storing it flat with all the others. And so um, by the time I come to work on this, there won't be any of these mailing creases left in it. And I just got a little bit of fluff on there. Okay, there we go. All right, and I, I do want you to be able to see it to its best effect. So I'm just going to roll it back on itself a little bit and that should also help to flatten it out. There we go. You can do that, roll them backwards on themselves for uh, diamond paintings that are covered in plastic. You can't do it with ones that are covered in paper. They don't like that. So just remember um, rolling them back on themselves is fine for uh, plastic covered diamond paintings. All right, so let's take a look at the legend. This has 11 different kinds of drills. 
which is a fine number. Like, really, I've had diamond paintings that have had six, like special shape drill diamond paintings that have six, and um, and they look they look beautiful. I have not yet gotten a diamond painting with special drills that I have not thought looked good when I was finished it. I mean, some look better than others, but they all look beautiful if, you know, as, especially if like bling, because these are all about the bling. And I'm getting ahead of myself. I wanted to look at the drills, but we haven't taken a look at the canvas yet. So let's take a look at the canvas here. And so you see there are quite a few different special shape drills on this. And they're just going to make this pop, 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 pop. Oh, these little, these little ones. Hold on. I have to find where my finger is. I got the camera turned the wrong way. And so I'm very disoriented from where the camera is. Um, okay, so these are going to be those little tiny petal shaped drills. They take, they're hard for me to place. I, I find them a challenge, uh, which is why I, I'm actually becoming quite fond of them because they just add a little bit more challenge to the Special Shapes diamond painting. Uh, so look at that, oh my goodness. Oh, that's just beautiful. Okay, I am going to put you back in here now. And okay, so um, let's take a look now at the drills. I'm just gonna fold that back a little bit more because I don't like that it curls up. All right. So first, let's make sure that we have 11 different kinds of drills. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, and now let's take a look, take a look at them. And for that, I am going to bring you way down and zoom you because otherwise I find it hard to reach the camera with the drills. Okay, so we have these gold crystal drills. And they look pretty good. They look pretty good. I don't see too much. Oh, okay. So I'm putting it in the center of the screen there. Uh, you see that one that's got scratches in the bottom? You can't use ones that have scratches in the bottom because you'll be able to see the canvas right through the scratch. Anyway, the drills, those drills are no good. But the nice thing is they always send way more drills than you'll ever need. So um, it's you just get rid of those. Don't even question yourself. Just get rid of them. There are quite a few of them that have those scratches in, on the bottom. But I'm not worried about that. The other thing is I have so many spares that even if in a worst case scenario uh, I ran out, which I've only has only happened to me, I think, twice with Special Shapes diamond paintings because they know that the Special Shape drills and the crystal drills are prone to more problems. So they give you way more than you'll need um, so that you can throw them away if they're no good. Um, so yeah. So yeah, I, the thing that I'm seeing the most here is these ones that have the scratches on the bottom. So, and I will be honest, that is more scratches that I'm used to seeing on a diamond painting, in a diamond painting kit. Um, and I see one, I don't know where my finger is, there it is. See that one that's got a little tiny bit of flash on it? I would get rid of that too. Um, but I am not disheartened because I think that this is still gonna be good. And when it's done, we won't remember that the, dr that the drills were, that we had to get rid of trash. And the other thing is, if you keep your trash, like I do, I keep it in a jar, uh, because it's pretty. And the special shape drills just make it that much prettier. So, okay, uh, this is, there are a lot more scratches on the bottom of these drills than I'm used to. Uh, I have to remark on that because I don't think, like I'm not seeing cup drills or the concave drills that you have to throw away. So that's good because there are a lot of ones with scratches. Oh well. Um, I actually hope that the number for this comes up quickly because I want to be able to report to you 
on how it turned out. But there you go. There's nothing the matter with these that I'm looking at. Well, maybe one scratch there. I, I, I don't know why. It might have been somebody new at the factory. I don't know, but I've never come across so many that have scratched bottoms. So this one here, see how the light plays on that? That one there is not flat. Now, it might be flat enough, but that's one that I would get rid of and only go back to if I ran out of these drills, which I wouldn't expect to because they always send way more than you need. But uh, if I did have to use this drill here, I would put a little bead of glue underneath it to hold it to the canvas to make sure that it didn't come off the canvas. And then these are the little tiny petal shaped drills that I was saying are, you know, a challenge to place. Uh, but they do look spectacular on a canvas. And there's really nothing wrong with them. I saw one that had a little divot in it. Um, and when we're working with crystal drills like these, uh, and there's a little divot in them, it makes the drill look a little bit funny. It looks like there's a bubble inside the drill. You can see that right here in this drill. The thing is, these drills are so tiny, like so tiny, that nobody's ever going to notice. The only person that will ever notice that is you, because uh, most people won't be focusing on them that closely. But that said, uh, there's not that many of them that have that, and so there's going to be more than enough drills here for that. Uh, you can get rid of any that are no good. Okay, so uh, that is the Peacock Royale. Now, the only thing I haven't done yet is labeled it and measured it. So, let me... Uh, where the heck is the Peacock Royale? Oh, this is not Peacock Royale. This one I call Crystal Peacock. Okay, Crystal Peacock. Is it? Now I'm confused. Yeah, wait a minute. No, this one is Peacock Royale. Uh, and I just have to find the label for it. It's number 436. Oh, it was um, it was hidden underneath the uh, the binder clip that I have all my label sheets held together with. I did get another peacock in this order, though. I think we'll see. We'll see. Maybe not. Maybe it was from another company that I'm waiting for another peacock. So this one was. Oh, I haven't measured it yet. So this one is 24 by 33 and a half so 20, uh, 24 by 34 and there we go okay so that's it for the Peacock Royale, uh, which I'm very much looking forward to doing this now, especially because it's going to look spectacular, like no question. And because I do want to be able to report back to you on the drills that are scratched. Now, here's something else I'm going to tell you. I suspect that it was this run of drills. You know how they have lots? for food and it's like, you know, lots such and such had uh, um, uh, E. coli or whatever. They have lots of, of drills for, uh, like manufacturing lots for drills as well. And it's probably a case of this particular run at the factory that was not good, um, that caused that scratching because I usually love 
the uh, the ribbon packaging with the purple stripe for special drills. Like I tend to find this kind of packaging with special drill uh, diamond paintings. I think they're pretty much all done at the same factory. And uh, I don't, I haven't seen another set of drills that had those scratches. So it's quite possible that you, if you were to order this, yours will not have those scratches. I can't promise that. I'm just saying, I, I suspect that that might be the case. So anyway, there you go. That's the Peacock Royale. I'm going to pause the video for a moment while I put away the drills, put away the canvas, and we will move on to the next unbagging for GBFKE. <laughs> got two left in here and one of them is small and one of them is big I just feel like saving the big one for last so we're gonna do another small one. Oh, and this one came pre-opened how about that or maybe no that came pre-opened all right that makes it easier for me let's see what it is okie dokie I got a partial so what we have here is a green boat, piece of wax, single placer pen, no baggies this time. And what we have here is a partial diamond painting. It's not a special shapes, it's just a partial diamond painting. And uh, I normally would not buy a partial diamond painting because I like doing full drill diamond paintings. The only partial ones I ever get anymore are the ones um, that are special shapes, diamond paintings. But I do like fish. And I also know that many of you do like doing partial diamond paintings. And so I wanted to show you one of GBFKE's partial diamond paintings. So I, like I say, I like fish. And many of you who watch my channel know that I bought two of the same large diamond painting of um, of these gorgeous, gorgeous fish. I don't know what they're called. I don't know the names of fish. I just like fish. Um, and so when I saw this one, I thought, yeah, I'll continue the fish motif. I mean, I'm doing dragons, I'm doing cats, I'm doing trees. Why not do fish too? I'll continue the fish theme and get a partial of these fish, which I thought was gorgeous. Um, I call this one green fishes number 439 in my inventory let me just find it there we go so that I don't lose track of what it is um, and it's advertised as 30 by 50 but that would be the canvas size. So let's see what the drill area is. It is 25, just short of 25 by 44, 25 by 44. And it is round drills. Okay. All right. Now for a partial, this has 17 colors which is very acceptable. Let's zoom in so that we can see this legend. And you're gonna notice a theme here. The legend is all blues and greens and shades in between. Well, a little bit of brown. But um, yeah, that's, I'm hoping that that will make this stand out like crazy, make these fish sort of stand out from the uh, from the background. So in terms of the drill area, there you go. No guide circles, but that is okay. I don't like guide circles. Some of you do like guide circles. Um, you will see here that even though there's no guide circles as such, the black guide circles that show up behind drills if you don't place them perfectly, you do get the rounded edge around each color. 
So that will help you place your drills. Like if you're concerned about getting your drills straight, I think like take a look at this because you see how each symbol has a circle around it, but the circle is of the same color as the drill. So if, you, if you're just a teeny smidge off, nobody's gonna notice first off. And second off, you won't see black behind your drills. I know, I'm, I'm probably overstating this, but I really, really don't like uh, guide circles. And so I'm trying to convert you to my way of thinking because I don't think you need guide circles. You might think you need guide circles, but I have faith in you. I think you don't need guide circles. Try one with no guide circles. See what you think. Okay, let's take a look at these drills. And like I said, they're greens and blues. Well, mostly green, as it turns out, with some bluey greens in them and a little bit of blue here. And yeah, the browns and the tans. All right, we're going to take a look at the colors. But what we're going to focus on, well, what I'm going to focus on is looking at the quality of each of the uh, colors of drills. Um, so 17 colors, there's no DMC numbers on anything. So if you keep your drills, you'll have to, um, oh look, there's a little something on here. It's like a little pebble that was on the, uh, the canvas. All right, there we go. Okay, let's take a look. Oh, I'm going to bring you down. No, not emotionally, I hope, just, just in space. So these are looking good. Again, looking for the sharp edges on the drills, flat bottoms, and nice sharply cut tops. Like when they pour them in these molds or however they do them, um, you want them to look as sharp and clean and uh, defined as possible. And I'm not seeing anything that concerns me at all, but you know I will point it out to you if I do. And no, these look good. And I'm not seeing any trash, no diamond dust, no bits of broken drills, uh, as well as no bad drills. So that's good. I find that with the ribbon packaging, you generally get a higher quality of drills. I don't know why that is but that seems to be the case and uh, they always send tons of spares oh, look at how flat these bottoms are like that's just beautiful like no dimples even okay there's one dimple see i point out everything to you because i believe you need to know so that you can make your decision this will be a nice quick project. I always say that it's going to be a nice quick project and then it ends up taking me twice as long as I thought because I think I'm faster than I actually am. Um, but compared to a full drill diamond painting, a partial diamond painting uh, does go faster. And so you get that sense of accomplishment that much sooner. That's a nice sort of caramel. Ooh, that's like lemon. It's like a, a lemon custard color. Nice. Nice. And that looks like the color that my daughter painted on one of her walls. Okay, there we go. Not that you've ever seen my daughter's place, so you couldn't compare to say, oh yeah, that's exactly the color your daughter painted the walls. I don't know why I told you that. I guess because I was visiting her this past weekend and um, I didn't notice until the third or fourth day, third, fourth day, I think, that uh, each one of the rooms in her house has an accent color wall. And uh, because they're sort of pastel colors, I just hadn't noticed but then once I noticed I couldn't not see them and she picked very very good colors I must say anyway um, 
that's it. So that is the fishies. Uh, the drills look good. The canvas looks good. Um, it might be a little pixelated. Even through the camera, maybe it looks a little tiny bit pixelated. But I'm willing to check it out and see when, uh, when its number comes up. So there you go. That is the green fishes. And the links, of course, for all of these diamond paintings will be down below in the description to this video. So you can check them out. And I'll flash the price of this one and all the others uh, up on the screen. I, I didn't always mention that I would flash the, uh, the price up. But by now you will have seen that I flashed the price up for all of these diamond paintings. Okay, I'm going to pause and get ready to show you the last one in this shipment from GBFKE. Okay, everybody, so I saved the best for last. I think I saved the best for last. I mean, those dragons were pretty spectacular, I must say. Uh, so maybe not the best, but certainly the one that I'm most anticipating looking at. Uh, for last. Okay, so this one, it's big, <laughs> um, and it got a little bit crunched fitting into the bag, because as you see, well, the bag was like this, as you see, it didn't exactly, well, it fit sort of on a diagonal, but um, it got crunched on one end. That's not going to matter. I can already tell because it's got the plastic coating and uh, I just, I, I've worked now with enough of the GBFKE canvases that I know that that's not going to cause any kind of major problem for the diamond painting. Okay. I just get rid of those outer bags because I store all of my diamond paintings flat. So where it got crunched was where the drills are not. Okay, the drills end right here and it got crunched where the drills are not. And there are a lot of drills. Let's take a look at the kit. So the kit, green boat, I don't know, it looks like three bags, a single placer pen and a little bit of wax which is all you need and doo -doo -doo -doo, I think I'm gonna have to pull up quite a bit because this is my biggest one in this order and even though there's a lot of beiges and stuff in here which you guys know I'm not super excited usually about beiges I just love this diamond painting and I'm not looking at it through the camera right now. I just checked to make sure that you could see all of it in the camera. Uh, but I'm telling you, there is no pixelation here. <laughs> this is a perfect size for this. This is going to look outstanding. Boy, did I make a good choice. I was a little disappointed with you know the fishes and with uh which I, which was the other one? Oh yeah uh yeah i was a little bit disappointed with the fishes and i think one of the chinese dragons was just maybe a little tiny bit too pixelated the first one i think um or the second one i can't remember no the first one was a little bit pixelated compared to the second one uh so i was a little worried about this but this all I see are smooth lines, people. I don't see like jerky, you know, corner edges like you see. Oh my God, this is gorgeous. Holy smokes. And if you don't like elephants, I had a hard decision to make because this same style of diamond painting in the same size also had like a an deer or an elk you know with the the full rack of horns on the on the deer or elk and um and a horse uh all with these same blues and greens and the same type of background the hardest thing for me was choosing which one to get and i decided to get the elephant 
Uh, now I'm thinking I may have to go and buy the other two as well at some point because, oh man, I have rarely been surprised by how much I love a diamond painting when I first see it in front of me, but I'm having that feeling right now. This is so much better than I anticipated it would be. Not because I didn't anticipate high quality from GBFKE, because I do. Like, I have gotten really, really good stuff from them. I think this is the best thing that I've gotten from them. I'm so happy with it. And, okay. So I'm just now looking at the, uh, at the legend. Now let me bring you down for that. Looking at the legend. And seeing there's only 18 colors but remember what I said earlier in the video about you don't necessarily need a ton of colors to get an amazing effect Eight, these 18 colors are gonna look amazing like look you're you're close up now you're like I've got you zoomed no I don't have you zoomed uh, I have you zoomed now and look at that look how clear that is i'm going to zoom some more just so that you can like look at this this is incredible i mean you're zoomed in so much that you can see the letters um hold on i'm gonna find where you're looking okay you can s well okay so i'm going to zoom you so that you can see what i was looking at here uh, no here okay <laughs> oh jeez all right, I, I'm so having trouble with the orientation of this camera. You can read these symbols and you can still see the incredible detail on the harness and the, you know, the cover on his, on his back. This is incredible. And then take a look at the leaves down at the bottom. This is, this is nothing short of stunning, my friends, stunning. Um, okay, so let's take a look at the legend in close-up. And those are all very, very clear symbols. And look, they have DMC numbers. Yay. So yeah, it's all letters. It's all letters, super clear. And then look at the canvas. You couldn't ask for anything clearer. Let's take a look at some of the darker colors on the elephant. Look how clear that is. I could work on this without a light pad, no problem. Now I usually do use a light pad when uh, I'm doing a big diamond painting because I only work on one big diamond painting at a time. And um, so it sits on top of a light pad, but I I would not have to turn this light, the light pad on for this. Wow. You guys, I am just gobsmacked by the quality of this. This is fantastic. And I'm not worried about these wrinkles. They're gonna smooth out completely uh, while I've got it in, uh, in my storage system. Um, you guys know that I store everything flat in uh, great big folders. And there's like a ton of other diamond paintings pressed up against them, so they help flatten each other out. And even just pressing it, look how, how smooth it's become already. Um, this up here, that'll flatten out too. I'm not worried about it. Wow. I just want to look at it for a while. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I just want to look at it. This is my favorite diamond painting that I've gotten for a while. Uh, okay. Okay, I got so excited, I forgot to measure this diamond painting for you. Uh, this is, by the way, this is number 435. Um, in my inventory, I call it the gold and blue elephant. And let's 
see what it is. It's advertised as 65 by 50. And it is fifty-nine and a half, so I'll say that's sixty by forty-five. Sixty by forty-five. So that's a good size if you like working with the, the larger sizes. I would say that's getting up there. And of course, these are round drills. Okay. All right, um, enough about that. Let's take a look at all these drills. So 17 colors, no, 18 colors. Did I say 17 before? It's 18. Um, but there's a lot of them, so I'm expecting to have multiple packages of many of these colors. So first let's just do an inventory to make sure we've got all 17 colors, or all 18 colors. I don't know why I keep saying 17. Alright, so we've got one, two, three, four, oh, three bags of four, five, two bags of six, Seven, eight, two bags of nine, ten, five bags of eleven, two bags of twelve, two bags of thirteen, one bag of fourteen, one bag of fifteen, one bag of sixteen, one seventeen, and two eighteen. Okay, let's take a look at the uh, quality of the drills now, and we'll go fairly quickly. All right, that looks good. So what am I looking for? You know, I'm looking for flat bottoms, although I'm okay with dimples like that. I'm looking for sharp edges on those bottoms so that there's no tabs and there's no flash or as I call them, melty feet um, or ooze, whatever you want to call it. And I'm looking for nice definition on the facets on top because that's what makes our drill sparkly and I am happy with what I see so look at that color oh my god that's such a beautiful color and like I say if you like this diamond painting do check out the other two in this series because they use exactly the same colors and um, they really are stunning. Oh, wow. Yes, yes, this is very good. Now, the DMC numbers are not printed on the baggies, on these bags. Uh, so I'll just, you know, make sure I label my bags with, uh, with the DMC number so that it'll, it'll be easy to store my leftovers. And I know there will be leftovers. I'm not seeing anything that concerns me here. Are you seeing anything? No, it's good. It's all good. This is a definite win. This is, okay, yeah, this, I've liked a lot of the ones that I got from GBFKE. Um, surprisingly, this is my favorite. I did not expect this one to be my favorite, but this is my favorite, wow. Uh, okay, and I saved it for last, all unknowing. I just wanted to have a big one to finish with, <laughs> but oh man, yeah, this is good. This is good, all right. Look at that, they're good, they're all good. I'm feeling happy, I'm feeling happy. And I'm gonna flash the price up on the screen so that you know what to expect in terms of cost at checkout. Well, I don't know about you, but uh, if I was watching somebody else unbox this, I would be going to the store and buying it. So, um, I know I'm not alone. 
So I'm just going to suggest that if you really do like this, go to the store and buy it before it sells out. I mean, I'm sh it might exist in other stores, but you know exactly what you're going to get if you buy it from GBFKE. So go and check it out. Don't, don't delay. All right, everybody. That's it. That's my five diamond paintings uh, in this shipment from GBFKE. Uh, I don't usually do multiple diamond paintings in a single video, uh, but I thought, what the heck? Let me know what you think of this format because I can do more of them like this. Um, and uh, if you like, if you like having multiple openings in a single video, uh, or whether you prefer to just have one diamond painting in each unboxing, I'll probably do most of my unboxings one diamond painting at a time but I don't mind switching it up from time to time if you like seeing many unboxings together or you know a whole package unboxed at the same time so yeah do let me know because that will help me decide uh, what to do for my channel going forward so I want to thank Lay Zhao from GBFKE he's my contact there and he has just been fantastic. Uh, we send each other little no love notes uh, in the middle of the night for me. It's, it's like daytime in China, but it's, it's like one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock in the morning here. And um, he's super fast in terms of responding to me. And uh, anyway, we, he's, he's wonderful to work with. And I just wanna say thank you so very much for giving me the opportunity to show my viewers your diamond paintings. Um, I, I'm, I'm really happy with them and uh, I hope that uh, I hope that you guys out in YouTube land are very happy with them too and check out the GBFKE website. It's uh, there's thousands of diamond paintings and diamond painting supplies and accessories and things. Check them out, spend some time and um and maybe maybe buy a few things okay so that's it i want to thank all of my patrons who help support my channel with their two dollar monthly contributions to my patreon you can join my patreon by going to patreon.com slash rambling rose dp all one word and just sign up and um, and then you will help support my channel and me bringing you many more diamond painting videos uh, in the months ahead. Uh, and I want to thank all of my viewers and subscribers and because I love to get your eyeballs on my videos. And uh, I love to get your comments, so do please leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you think of GBFKE. Tell me what you think of this elephant. Tell me what you think of the other diamond paintings and tell me what you think of circles versus no circles on, on round diamond paintings. And I know I asked you to tell me something else too and I can't remember now because I got the memory of a fleet, but that's okay. All right, that's it everybody. Goodbye for now. I'll see you tomorrow with another diamond painting video. Bye-bye. <laughs>